trip of a lifetime. You got to have one trip. That's the trip of a lifetime. I'm going to read in here. I'm going to work in here. I'm going to sleep in here. Okay, today I'm going to drill the hole for the brake light and turn signal three conductor wire. And it's going to come up through here, right underneath the motor and inverter power leads, and all the way into the box. Got to drill one more hole. Not my favorite thing to do. Right under there, and you can see I've just drilled the pilot hole. Three circuit charge. Hey, yeah. I'm turning left. All right, I've been in here all night breaking down my old 26 inch wheel build with the Grin front hub motor and put the same front hub motor into a 20 inch wheel. This is my first wheel build with the hub motor. Pretty straightforward, really. We'll see if I get some broken spokes or what. And now I've got the Schwalbe 2.35 inch pickup tire, it's a heavier duty tire. I'm gonna run it at slightly lower pressure like I've been doing this wheel, and that should give me a little bit more cushion up front. So it turns out the disc that was on the original bullet wheel down there doesn't actually fit around the axle. The hub axle rubs against just the inside edge of those bolt holes. And so it gets stuck, it won't turn. As you can see, problem solved. You just gotta grind that puppy down. Okay, I've got the torque arm installed. So I just had to briefly readjust the brake caliper. And now it's running real smooth. Look at that dual motor. <laughs> this thing is no longer a slog. It's now a proper hog. Okay, I've not been filming as much and I apologize for that. So I'm going to talk a little bit and just catch you up on what I've done. So I've got now three motors and this is taking me from just enough power to definitely enough power. The bullet just handles like a dream with the two hub motors working together. I've got a splitter cable from Grin Technologies so I'm basically just using one cycle analyst to distribute the signals to both motors. Works really well. And so far I found the temperature stays within a few degrees of each other, both motors, so that's easy to manage. What else have I done? Got my horn, um, entry points for horn and the motor power cables going from the phase runner controller into the box here and to the battery. Also got some updates here. I know it's a mess now, but it'll clean it up soon. I've got this uh, relay network that is taking my rear brake lights input from the cyber drop, running it through there. Long story short, my brakes work and my signal, turn signals work. For those of you that are very concerned, I have fused everything. I've got the main breaker, I've got fuses to each circuit. Okay, so I'm gonna use my staple gun and quarter inch staples. I'm gonna staple it up temporarily and then I'm going to 3M77 spray glue it down in sections and then remove the staples afterwards. Let's see how that goes. Well it's nighttime and I've only done one wall but I'll show you what it's looking like. Went up pretty nice. Continue with the other walls and roof tomorrow. It's taking me a full day and a half to get this far which is both sides on with 3M77 and cut out edge to using my soldering iron. I just found that was the easiest way to do it. So I just have this blade here. Just went along and um, the final clean edge I'll do with the roof. I think I'm just going to do a slight overlap.
Okay, I just designed these little brackets in SketchUp. Um, you can slide it out sideways and it's attached to a receiver, a little mount there. I don't know if you can see. But the reason why I built them is because I found that bouncing around caused the panel lip to lift up. And so this will keep it down in place. It's not going anywhere side to side. And that was my first try. Getting better at these 3D prints. There is what I was talking about. So it's bolted in there, an M5 bolt, and then the bracket slides in from the side, and that will keep that from popping up and potentially pulling the wires or falling down during travel. So I'm just gonna put in the second one, but I wanted to show you something really cool here. So I'm gonna turn off this main light. Uh, I've labeled it the chandelier just to be a little cute. And that leaves us with the ambient. And you know, you put on some, what, some Pink Floyd? And there's your evening. I like it. What do you think? Okay, electrical panel, finished. It's not going anywhere. doing some work in here. It's not the cyborg, it's the cyber drop dead. Cyber You keep calling it the cyborg. It's like evil. Cyborg. Set off at 5.30 this morning for the first leg post parents of the trip. Under a street light, just doing lots of checks. Went on a gravel road, stone hit the fender, and I thought, bam, I had a flat. I was like, ah! But all is good, onwards. get faster at that. So that'll do for the first time. Okay, I'm at the gas station. Not for, <laughs> not to get gas obviously, but to clean my solar panels off. I'm gonna use a windshield squeegee here because the efficiency of the panels goes down quite a bit if they're dirty like this. So let's keep it nice and clean. There we go, that's better already. Oh, that is very satisfying cleaning off the cells. Very satisfying. Everyone's favorite part of coming to the gas station. SBM solar panels are built for the American military. So they'll be good enough for me. I'm sure I can rake a squeegee over it, no problem. Decided to drop down here and see how much solar I was collecting. At the BMS, I measured about 180 watts continuously when the sun was out. Okay, I'm at the grocery store. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use my drone. I'm gonna go up high in the sky so I can watch while I'm doing my shopping and make sure no one's messing with the cyber drop. Still clear. That was very reassuring. Oh, jeez. First day of the trip. Oh. Argentina is the goal. I've been reconsidering and wondering if I even wanted to go on this journey. 
I'm driving to the Thousand Islands Crossing. I really hope they're gonna let me in. Just checking the uh, alignment of the tow arm. This is a busy road. Turns out at the Thousand Islands border crossing, cyclists and pedestrians have to take the sidewalk while the sidewalk was too narrow for the cyber drop. So I ended up going all the way over to Cornwall and crossing into Messina, New York from there. I pulled up to the border agent and I was nervous that if they were going to let me in with this contraption. He broke into a wide smile as I pedaled up. He asked me a couple of questions and then something flipped inside of him. He just chuckled and waved me through. Upstate New York is just beautiful. It reminded me of more of home. Rolling hills, weaving, undulating terrain. Got to open the throttles and just drink it in. The journey begins and I'm looking forward to many great memories and meeting lots of people along the way.